Welcome to this Around the IT Block Tech Talk. I'm Calvin Zito. Stay tuned at the end of the video. I'm going to give you a clickable link where you can learn more about today's topic. And speaking of today's topic, my guest today is Simon Watkins. Simon took my job as the HPE storage guy when I kind of moved on to doing more than just storage. Simon, really glad to have you on the Tech Talk today. Hey, Calvin. Uh, great to be here. Thanks for having me on. So I um, lead HPE's product marketing for our block file and object storage business. Great. And what we're going to talk about, obviously, is around that. And I saw that we have some announcements uh, happening on today, October 7th, around the HPE Electra Storage MP and some new QLC drives that we have. You know, QLC uh, drives, maybe not everybody really understands what the benefits will be of these being in a block storage array. Why don't you talk a little bit about what the main benefits are for customers who have now the opportunity to use QLC? Yeah, sure. So, so like I say, we're really excited uh, to announce the fact that Electric Storage MP now supports uh, QLC SSD drives, offering our customers higher density, uh, lower TCO, uh, as well as optimized price performance for their capacity intensive workloads. And I think I'd call out three key benefits for customers, Calvin, around this announcement. First off, from a TCO perspective, uh, Electra MP customers can now use um, 30 terabyte or 15 terabyte QRC SSDs to deliver value optimized, um, very high density storage that has a lower purchase price than storage arrays with TLC drives, as well as requiring less rack space, less power and cooling compared to hybrid storage, legacy hybrid storage. Secondly, um, customers can start small and scale big with really unrivaled flexibility. And finally, customers can run any workload without compromise by leveraging the unique uh, disaggregated architecture, enterprise capabilities, as well as that simplified hybrid cloud experience of the Electra Storage MP platform. Well, one thing that maybe is a little bit of a side note, but it'll flow into this next question I'm going to ask you is that uh, HPE Storage um, just recently uh, is in the Gartner Magic Quadrant um, Leaders Quadrant for the 15th year in a row. That's an amazing achievement. But let me take that as a follow on and then say, you know, there's other vendors who have QLC today. What sets uh, HPE Electra Storage MP apart with QLC from, from other block storage vendors? Yeah, good question. And thanks for calling out the, the Gartner MQ place. We were, we were very proud of that for the 15th year row to be a leader. Um, yeah, so for, from a competitive perspective, I think firstly, um, Electra MP with QLC continues to deliver on the promise of disaggregated storage. So you can start cost effectively with, with eight QLC drives, and then you can scale out to over, I think it is 16 petabytes of effective capacity. And you can scale very efficiently and very flexibly with that disaggregated uh, granular performance and capacity upgrades, as well as benefit from free data in place controller upgrades with our HPE Timeless program. And I think all of that contrasts very strongly with legacy QLC arrays that have those traditional node pair storage architectures. Secondly, an important thing to say is from a performance perspective, with our uh, QLC solution, you get the same sub millisecond latency as you would get with our QLC arrays. And that's not, sorry, as our TLC arrays, should I say. And that's certainly not the case with competitive QLC based offerings. And then finally, I kind of referenced it earlier with, with the QLC uh, offering, you get um, a lot of unique capabilities such as 100% data availability guaranteed, industry leading AI ops, that simplified cloud management by GreenLake, as well as the advanced ransomware detection recovery with Zerto. So adding all those things together, I don't think any other QLC array out there is offer those, that, those combination of benefits and features. Okay, so we've set the stage for QLC uh, as, a, as a block storage array with Electra Storage MP. So what are some of the targeted workloads and use cases that customers that would benefit from using these? Yeah, so I think the really good news is that with the introduction of QLC, we've now really broadened out the, the kind of the, the, the set of capacity intensive workloads and use cases that Electra Storage MP can be used for, right? So first off, 
It's a great fit for modernizing your storage from legacy hybrid to all flash. Uh, secondly, it's a really good fit for high capacity VMware or database applications where price performance balance is key. And then thirdly, it can be used as a low cost uh, DR target with native replication from an, Ele an Electra storage MP array with TLC to an Electra MP array with QLC. So you can use both your TLC and QLC arrays in tandem for that for that use case. Great, that makes perfect sense. So I guess the, the $100,000 question, now that these sound like perfect for a lot of use cases, when can customers start ordering HP Electra Storage MP with these new QLC drives? Yeah, well, the good news is, Calvin, they, they, today, they, they, so t as of today, uh, we have support for both 15 or 30 terabyte QLC drives on, on every model of Electra Storage MP. So yeah, available today. Well, that's great news. Uh, I appreciate you joining us today to tell us about this uh, exciting news that HP Electra Storage MP and uh, let's talk again soon, Simon. Great, thanks, Calvin. Here's that clickable link back to hpe.com where you can learn more about block storage with HPE Electra Storage MP. Here's a playlist of storage videos that you'll learn a lot from. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video. And thanks for joining me on this Around the IT Block Tech Talk.